Hi everyone! Throughout the Naruto anime, we saw our heroes grow up, and as they matured, they each started their own families. Raising a child was probably the hardest thing for them, even harder than confronting Akatsuki. They each had their own methods of upbringing, and they had to show their character to an authority among the new generation. So today, I will tell you about moms of the Naruto anime. They will be in order, from the least strict mom to the strictest one in the whole Naruto universe. So enjoy watching. Hinata Hyuga Yes, you're not mistaken. Hinata is shy and timid, but has a brave heart. Hinata managed to marry Naruto and gave birth to two children. When Boruto tried to show her his temper in any way, Hinata was never afraid to scold him such as when he skipped classes or when he played video games late into the night. The same thing with Naruto, when they were arguing with each other like little cats. Or if you think back to the birthday party, when she threatened not to give them cake if they didn't come down. It wasn't always like that, because Hinata will always be very cute. But since she has become a mom, something in her character has changed noticeably. Does she make her children happy? Well, yes, she does. She is so obsessed with her children that if they complained about anything, she would always help them. Thanks God her children are smart and they are not spoiled. Many fans may say that Hinata is too kind to be strict. I might disagree, because this Hinata is very different from the one we all know from the first seasons of Naruto. In addition to Sasuke, who had the biggest personality change, Hinata comes right after him and gets second place. Like, no doubt, she's a whole new person. When Boruto was suspended, Hinata made sure he did all his schoolwork, and she even set a curfew for him. Boruto can joke around with his dad and generally do whatever he wants with him, but he would never try that with his mom. <laughs> Ino Yamanaka Ino is Tsunada's student, just like Sakura, and they both have complicated personalities. I only put her above Sakura because Ino has a more rebellious child, especially when you think of the time she taught him her technique. Seeing that there was no progress, she very abruptly became very angry. On top of that, she began to argue with Sai, who tried to defend the son. <laughs> Inojin began to get inside her head to calm her down, but her mother's fury was unstoppable. Inojin eventually succeeded in overcoming his mother's will. It seemed that that night Sai had a wonderful reconciliation. At the age of 16, there was nothing between Sai and Ino. Ino seemed to be interested in Sai, and she stated that he had the same energy and Sasuke, but that was it. They never had any special moment or anything. Unless you count their mission to investigate Kido Tsumiki's mission. Sakura Haruno Sakura earned a spot in this video thanks to her past. We already know what she is capable of and how mad she can be, especially with Naruto. You can see that Sarada is very well behaved and with good manners. Sarada and Sakura almost never had any serious conflicts, at least from what I remember, except for the time when Sarada suspected that Sakura wasn't her real mother. Sarada once stopped her and asked why Sasuke was hardly ever home, to which Sakura responded in her usual style. After wrecking her house, which she pays the mortgage for, Sakura couldn't convince Sarada that everything was under control. Timari's tendency to violence is really high. Shikadai cannot even think about skipping classes because Timari simply won't have mercy on him. She will pull his ear as many times as necessary. Even Shikamaru is not saved from this. He is loyal to the Nara clan's habits. He is just like his father who married a domineering woman. 
But everything is not as bad as it seems. Tamari can be kind sometimes, but it happens only when she wants it, which is quite rare. So don't make her mad, guys. Why did Shikamaru marry Tamari? Shikamaru and Tamari are like yin and yang. They balance each other out. Their love for each other was not forced. It just happened naturally over time. They worked together after Chunin exams and became closer over the years. Eventually, they have developed feelings for each other. Shikamaru really fell in love with Tamari, so of course he decided to marry her. I don't think Shikamaru could imagine a trouble-free life without her. Since it would still be a problem, why not marry a problematic woman who makes his problematic life at least worthwhile? I'd like to take this opportunity to mention the strangest couple in the Boruto universe. Karui and Choji. Seriously, I don't understand how the two of them could have met. During the blank period, Choji for some reason started to visit her, constantly looking at the village hidden in the mist. Then in Sasuke Shinden, Karui informs Choji of the situation in her village. They married and had Chocho. Remember that Karui is one who severely beat Naruto even though he let her do it himself. She's also quite violent towards Choji and others. All the sweets she buys she immediately eats, leaving nothing and kicks Choji out of the house. <laughs> Uzumaki Kushina None of the previously mentioned mothers can ever surpass bloody habanera in severity. Unfortunately, we could not see how she raised Naruto, but we could see episodes in which she was at times very intimidating. During the try of Infinite Tsukuyomi, when Tobi sent Naruto and Sakura to the alternate vault, not even two seconds had passed since meeting his mother when she had already hit him. If Naruto refused to go out to dinner, Kushina, respecting his privacy and knocking on the door, reaffirmed his status as bloody habanera and forced him to go out for dinner. At the same time, she also turns out to be a very affectionate mom, who cares about her son giving him the love he could never get in the real world. Many people think that due to her domineering nature, Naruto took her sure name. But this is not entirely true. It was for his own safety. After Naruto's parents were killed during the Nine Tails attack, they thought Hakagi had to protect Naruto by any means possible. Naruto was not only the son of the four Hakagi, but also Nine Tail Jinchuriki. Considering how famous Minato was with the sure name Namikaze, Naruto would have made himself an easy target because of this sure name. As there were quite a lot of hostility towards Minato due to his actions in the Third Shinobi World War. For this reason alone, it was decided to name him Uzumaki, which would ultimately ensure his safety. Yeah.